best late entry of the century. Braga! I'm not going no small fit. Let me extend my and apologies. And B-Square is back. It's back to B-Square. It's going to be taking place this Thursday at Woodford Square. And it's a concert. I'm so far, I'm seeing that Bungie is going to be there. Of course, Faye and Lyons Alvarez is going to be there. And a ton of guests. And as always, B-Mobile is ensuring that this is a free concert. And so joining me to talk more about Back to B-Square is the uh, Senior Manager of Marketing, Promotion, Supply Chain, and DLC at B-Mobile, Mr. Kashif Graves. Mm. Mr. Graves, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us on now. Hi, good morning. Good morning. It's definitely a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's exciting to have you back as well. I mean, B-Square is back. I remember my days of running to Woodford Square on my <laughs> lunch hour and then running back to work. But before we get into the event, though, I'm just I'm kind of curious to find out about the reason for bringing it back. Is it because it's the return of all the mother of all carnivals? And so B-Mobile wanted to ensure that people have a taste of it. I mean, what was the reasoning to bring this sort of event back? All right. Well, I think Bungie Garden said it best when he said best late entry of the century. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially what we wanted to do is give back to our customers. Um, we know we all would have had some difficult times over the past couple of years with COVID and the different changes that would have been happening in the organization. And we wanted to signal our support for the local culture and local artists, but more so to say to our loyal customers, thank you. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for being loyal to us as an organization and as the indigenous telecom provider we want to also signify our supported culture and bring back this mammoth mega signature event for this carnival. Um, I was actually speaking to one of our customers the other day and they said that si similar as KFC is synonymous with carnival, B-Square is synonymous <laughs> with carnival. And we had a five-year hiatus. And we heard the calls from our customers, we heard the cries, and we said, you know what? We're going to make a mega show um, for one day, headlined by Bungie and Fian, as they alluded to, with a slew of, of artists. We wouldn't let it cut out the bag, but what we will say is that it's going to be a fantastic experience. Um, we will also have a, a host of giveaways and discounts on top up, as well as we have our signature money grab machine, which is actually yes. a machine that you enter into and you have a chance to grab money and you grab as much as you get um, in cash. So we will have all those different activities as well carded for the day. So it's a whole yeah. day of experience and fun um, the, the, the event actually will kick off at 10 with the activations and the performances will start at 11 and run straight through to quarter to one. So we cater in for the... So, 11 so from 11 o'clock is when the performances start. Correct. Now I do have, have to ask though, I know that you say that there's one mega day for all these things to happen, but I know that before that time, it used to be a lead up to carnivals. And it was like every Thursday or every Wednesday, there'd be like this one hour in the square. Why did you choose to do one concert, one mega concert, as opposed to kind of spreading it out every week before carnival? Yeah, well, we wanted to invest all our energies on bringing the best show that we could do as possible as, as we can, right? Um, so we opted into quality as opposed to quantity. Um, as the event evolved over the past years, it became a mammoth um, undertaking. Um, for which we know that it had that type of excitement around it. So we said, here what? The Thursday before the week of carnival, where there's, there's limited activity, we wanted to really harness all our attention and focus on reintroducing the signature event and making it as best as possible and to add additional value to our customers. So it's not only just the show, but you have an opportunity to have different activations, giveaways, tokens, to make it a more holistic experience. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Grace, what was the reason for choosing Bungie and Fian? So, for example, I know B-Mobile was one of the first companies to bring those sort of influencers. And so you had a slew of influencers who you used to do to promote the B-Mobile brand. I'm not sure if you still do that again, but I was also wondering, you know, why Fian and Bungie as opposed to any other artist? Okay. So what's critical for us is meaningful experiences and meaningful strategic partnerships. As the Indigenous brand, we always try to support culture and artists. Um, and to partner with our entity as the Viking family, which we, 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 we see as a global soccer artist flying the flag outside of Trinidad and Tobago, we found it to be a, a perfect strategic alignment with the artists of that nature to support the culture, as well as their influence of the younger artists um, in terms of mentorship. That was also critical for us in our decision making as it relates to who we would have partnered with in the season, right? 
Um, also, as part of the strategic partnership, we have a number of activities. So we're actually starting from today, we will have a 24-hour bender, a soca binge, we're calling it, right? 24 hours, be mobile soca binge. So it's starting with a morning um, concert series, then on 104.7, then it morphs into Islam concert series tonight with Bungie and Fian, then it morphs into breakfast Ojo party in the morning, breakfast party, then B Square, and then the B Square after party, which is a new <laughs> introduction <laughs> yeah, to the B Square family. So we're actually calling it B Squared, right? Because we'll have B two squared. signature <laughs> events, right? Given back to our customers. So we have the lunchtime series for those who want to party with us during the lunch break. As well as right. we have from 6 to 9 on the avenue, you're going to have a big trunk, big truck, we're going to have drinks, free artists coming through. And as for those persons that want additional flavor, they didn't get enough for the lunchtime series, or they weren't able <laughs> to get the time off, right, to come yes, across. So yes. it's be square. So this 24-hour bender, we're on our social media on Instagram, be mobile, and you actually see we have a countdown. We're actually tracking right. the different activations over that period of time. We go in and give you a live exclusive content through the eyes of the artists as they go through right. this 24-hour bender with no sleep. Just pure back to the bacchanal. Just pure back to the bacchanal and pure soca. Love it. Now, just remind us again, the mega concert that's taking place on a Thursday. Remind us again what time it begins, because I know you mentioned there's the activations for this and then the concert. So for those who want to come down to get the hard fat for the other artists, what time does that begin? Okay, so the activation starts at 10 um, to 11, and performances start at 11 and run straight through to 12.45. Now, so when you say activation, is that, the, is that the opportunity for people to buy phone cards and that sort of thing? So you're getting double top-up. So in other words, you pay for one top-up, you're getting double the amount. You're also getting right. tokens and giveaways and promotion items. And one lucky person will get a chance to actually go in the money machine and grab up to 2500 cash on the spot. Nice. Now, one of the things as well you mentioned is that that slew of artists, and I'm, I'm asking you just to give me at least three. I know they want to let much out of the bag, but just tease the people a little bit in terms of who else they can see down there. Um, well, I don't know about you, but blue is one of my favorite colors, so let's leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am wearing blue today, so I got you. I totally understand what you mean. <laughs> well, Mr. Grace, it was a pleasure to have you on the show this morning. Let me say congratulations to the B-Mobile team for bringing back B-Square. I mean, I, like everybody else, have so many memories of uh, partying in Woodford Square, and so we appreciate that you're bringing this back. All the best to the team, and we're going to see what B-Mobile brings on Thursday. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was a pleasure. And that was Mr. Kashif Graves, the marketing or senior marketing manager that is of uh, promotion, supply, chain, and DLC at B-Mobile, telling us about the return of Soka in B-Square, which is taking place this Thursday. Now the Now Morning Show, we're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us. Yo! I'm not going no small fret, let me extend my